Hey everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I have another different type of video once again, um, and this is just a video where I thought I'd go over what I do on a quite an intense day of revision. So here I'm just sorting out which books I need and I'm putting in little tabs as to uh, where the lectures are in my notes. So these notes are printed out, I make them pretty much by hand on my iPad using an app called GoodNotes and what I've done is I have printed them out in the form of a little booklet and just staple them together and it makes a really good sort of revision notes handout and I can summarise and condense my notes from here. So now, as you can see, I'm just opening up my iPad and my laptop and just making sure I've got the lectures up that I need. I also like to just put on some music or coffeeativity. So now that I've got everything together, I'm just setting up Forest on my phone. Uh, Forest is sort of an app which I use to track how many hours or minutes of revision I'm doing, but also it sort of locks me out of my phone essentially. So now I've actually just started revising and um, as you can see I'm using the handouts that I printed and my iPad to summarise the notes and also on my laptop I'm just going over the um, lecture just to make sure that I'm covering all the learning objectives, I haven't missed anything out from the lecture slides and um, if I need to search something up on the internet for example then um, I'm obviously doing that as well. I also like to put things in boxes which sort of makes it easier to revise from um, and it's just a good way you can revise little chunks at a time um, and it's just a nice way to lay out your notes or at least I find it is. So I do this for quite a bit longer um, and basically until the timer goes and um, I really try not to get distracted by social media but obviously nobody is perfect and sometimes your brain needs a break and you do need to do something like check Facebook for five minutes or so and that's okay as long as you don't really get stuck in the spiral of remaining on social media for two hours. So as you can see here I'm just getting out a physiology textbook. This is one of two that I actually bought for my undergraduate degree which was medical science um, but I'm still finding that these two textbooks are really useful for me in medicine and they're both set out differently so the one I'm using here is actually a lot more illustrated and has a lot more diagrams whereas the other physiology textbook uh, is more text heavy and describes things in a little bit more detail so it's not so much as a revision but more for understanding but this one is really good for revision as it really does summarise things and although they're not specifically recommended um, by the uni, um, I'm used to them and I personally find them really useful for help explaining concepts and things that I don't quite have my head around. So as you can see here, it's about 10 past 1, um, uh, my timer had just gone off and so I basically just took that time to make a cup of tea, you can see I've got a cup of tea over there, and I also found I'd gotten some posts which is very unusual, and um, it was actually from the BMA, and it was all about the BMA elections, um, so I got a cup of tea and I just read through or flicked through the candidates, obviously my first year being part of the BMA, it's all very new to me, and so I just wanted to find out if I needed to do anything and generally try and get involved if I can. Have another sip of my tea and start another timer. You'll notice I bring up tea a lot. I am a self-confessed tea addict. Um, as all of my friends can vouch for, I never go anywhere without tea. So I hadn't finished the first lecture I had started, which was um, basically on salivary glands and the production 
of saliva, as well as the sort of physiology of the mouth and the pharynx. So I just finished off that lecture, as you can see here. But uh, later on, I actually discovered that this lecture linked in very well with a lecture from a different block. So this is all from block one, which is done right at the start of medical school. But uh, in the second block, which we started, I think it was around November, end of October, start of November time, um, we started a different block. And in this block, we learned about the anatomy of the pharynx. And, um, and I thought it would be a really good opportunity to combine the two lectures. So it took me a lot longer to actually get through this lecture than I had initially anticipated, but it didn't really matter because I was covering a lecture that I needed to do at a later date anyway. So when I had finished um, writing my sort of condensed notes um, for the uh, basically two lectures, because it did include the lecture from the second block, um, I try generally to read over the notes that I have made and I go through and memorise what I've learnt and test myself and just make sure it's really in my brain because um, it's all very well making notes but the notes are of no use if you don't actually go over them and make sure that you're actually learning them. As you can see I had then finished the lecture and I was just updating my revision schedule um, just making notes that I had actually also completed the pharynx lecture and just planning out my time, making sure I didn't need to rearrange anything and um, just seeing what else I had to do for the rest of the day because it was um, sort of mid-afternoon by this point and I just needed to make sure I was going to get everything done. So the next thing that I wanted to do was I just wanted to tick off my desk planner that I had actually completed this lecture. I checked my timer and then back to revision it was. As you can see I've got the learning outcomes um, up on my uh, laptop because they are based off the GMC learning outcomes which basically determines what a competent doctor is or isn't. And so that's why I've really based most of my revision on the learning outcomes. So as you can probably see, I actually was getting a little bit peckish. So I got um, some peanuts and um, I got um, two biscuits just for me to nibble on. I had rice with a Filipino dish, which is called caldereta. After eating, um, I think I watched a little bit of telly for about half an hour, and then I went back to the dining room, which is where I studied, put the fire on, and it was back to the vision. Once again, when I finished the lecture, I read through my notes, um, tried to highlight some bits that I thought were important or that I was struggling to remember, um, tried to memorise as much as I could, and then I thought because it was quite a content-heavy lecture, I actually opened up um, an Anki deck on that subject. Um, so if you don't know, Anki is a software, it uses spaced repetition and it's basically flashcards but because of the spaced repetition it really helps you learn the material and um, make sure it stays in your brain long term. I don't make all the decks, some people do and that helps them. Sometimes I will make up my own flashcards and I'll put them in a separate deck so I know which ones were made by me and which ones weren't um, but at this point I wasn't actually using my own cards. We have like a shared Facebook page where we can um, share our resources and um, I get a lot of my decks from there but obviously um, it's a shared resource so if I have anything to share whether that be a textbook recommendation or things like that then obviously I will um, share my resources, resources on the page as well.
So again, when that was done, I um, went back to my timetable and uh, marked the lecture as complete. I crossed off the lecture on my desk planner and then it was time to start a new lecture. So this one was on the um, drugs that have an effect on the GI tract and more specifically on gastric acid and secretion. So things like antacids and um, proton pump inhibitors and things like that. I just got up the uh, block one drugs list because I was focusing on gastric acid secretion. I basically just tried to copy and paste them um, into a little sticky um, tab on my laptop. So as you can see I made a little mind map, it doesn't have a lot of detail on it, um, it doesn't really need that much detail, um, it had a lot more notes comparison to my mind map but I just wanted to add a little bit of detail at the bottom where I just write a little bit about important conditions or at least name them um, and that will tell me which ones I need to focus on and be aware of in exam situations. So I ticked that lecture off my list and off my schedule on Excel once again and it was time for another lecture. So the next lecture that I was going to Revise was all about cellular injury and damage, which is part of our um, cell and tissue biomedicine theme. Um, I thought you might be interested in how I make my titles. You're probably not, but um, some people might be. So that's how I do it. I just use a highlighter and then use some sort of fancy curly writing over the top of it. And it was back to the same old routine with a new cup of tea. Um, so condensing my notes, this lecture consisted of a lot of definitions and things like that which are basically rote learning so I wrote out all the definitions and then basically filled in the gaps afterwards. This lecture didn't actually take me too long to do, but unfortunately my camera then ran out of battery. I did one other lecture after this, which, which was a sock pop lecture, and it was on the sources of health and demographic information. I can't actually remember what time I finished my revision that day because I'm actually recording this voiceover about a week after I recorded all of this footage. So I hope you enjoyed this video which gives you a little bit of an insight into what I revised in a day and a very brief insight into my methods of revising. Let me know if you like these sorts of videos where you can have an insight into my life and my studying and um, thank you all so much for watching. I shall see you next time. Bye!